69th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament. Seventh place game, San Ramon Valley came into the tournament with a, after a loss to Redwood. They've had two tough losses. Their goal is to get a win and make that ride home. And their way is host Gridley. Who will get that win? You'll find out next. Happy Saturday, wherever you may be. We're in Farmers Hall inside the Butte County Fairgrounds for the final day of the 69th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament. I'm Chris Babcock, and thanks for joining wherever you may be. This is a matchup of the 5-2 Gridley Bulldogs against San Ramon Valley. The Wolves lost to Clayton yesterday, 70-60. to They only had six players score. They turned it over a lot, and they need to bounce back, value the basketball, and don't make it a four-game losing streak. For Gridley, they got to get off to a good start, stay competitive, and get their senior forward, Aaron Kular, and get him into the scoring ranks maybe work a little inside out game we'll come back with the lineups and more you're watching the 2023 gibt on norcal sports tv presented by county quarry products 69th annual gridley invitational basketball tournament on norcal sports tv presented by county quarry products is brought to you by american asphalt the maher law group docking drawer Salesian College Preparatory, and County Quarry Products. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets, clearing countertop cord and device clutter for more organized spaces. Your docking drawer outlet comes with everything needed for installation, including our photo buying card, a detailed installation manual, including drawer cutout templates, a metal cover plate in the finish of your choice, all seven screws needed for mounting, and your docking drawer outlet, complete with cable management arms that guide and protect the power cord as the door opens and closes. Docking drawer outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added to new or existing drawers of any type. Add in drawer outlets to bathroom vanity drawers, create convenient powered appliance pullouts in the kitchen, and dedicated charging drawers in the living room, office, closets, mudrooms, and beyond. Choose Docking Drawer, the smart, simple, and safe solution for in-drawer power. San Ramon Valley starters, Diekman, Thomas, Dealey, Moxley, and Isaac will have a graphic after Gridley. Their starters. Gridley in their white uniforms, the host of this fantastic tournament event. And San Ramon in their greens, our officials, Aaron Dickerson, Steve Gillies, and Daryl Holland. I'm Chris Babcock, and thanks for joining us here on NorCal Sports TV. Quick graphic of the San Ramon starters. That's all right. We'll get underway here. Tip goes to Aaron Kular. He's had 29 points in the tournament, 19 in the opener against Salesian and 10 last night. They're scoring around 55 a game, giving up 40. San Ramon lost to Clayton 70 to 60. They're scoring around 74 points a game. Dealey with the rebound. 
and goes and misses the layup. He missed a lot of shots last night close to the rim normally that he doesn't miss. But the thing that I starred and asterisk, he turned the ball over six times last night. Had five assists and nine rebounds. That's the four-year varsity letterman, Seamus Dealey, number 15. Thomas Isaac goes out of bounds. Isaac had 25 in the opener in the loss to Reardon, but then only had seven last night. Clayton Valley denied him the basketball. It's something during the season that the Wolves are going to need to adjust to. Kular with the rebound. Gridley came into this tournament 5-0, but they've lost to Salesian and then Sheldon last night. Our f- tipped into the backcourt, and Morello recovers. Gridley just needs to get off shots in versus having live ball turnovers. And a lot of times they're dribbling into turnovers. That tells me they need to pass to have good spacing. Kular against Dealey. Turnaround doesn't go. Rebounded by Diekman. He had 17 against Clayton Valley, only two on Thursday night. Nice cut to the basket. The layup doesn't go as Moxley's a little bit too much in a hurry there. He's got to catch, get his base, and finish. Five, the 330 game, the consolation game, will be Clayton Valley against Sheldon. Thomas goes right through the grid lead events. 5'10", junior averaging just over nine a game. Third place game will be Archbishop Reardon against Clovis North. There's some inside out offense we talked about before the game got started. Kahn does a good job of posting underneath and he gets the feed and he'll get a couple of free throws. Championship game, two undefeated teams. Salesian against Branson. Those are both North Coast section teams that are. I'm not a betting man, but. Might put up my UConn to say that those teams will both be in the open division. Conn makes both. Maybe Gridley will rinse and repeat. Little inside-out offense turns into a couple of free throws. Valuing every time they have the basketball. Thomas looking for Dealey. He's got him on the low block. Con trying to stay vertical, but Dealey with a soft touch, and that's what we're used to seeing. The left-hander, left-handed shot. Nine points on Thursday, 15, 9, and 5. It is, again, the six turnovers. They lost by 10. Travel, there's what we're talking about. So we're just looking through the program, and there's always nuggets. San Ramon's invite wasn't their first. Their last one was in 1968. And that's when it was a postseason tournament. And then, boy, does the cardinal sin of turning the ball over and then not going next play and then commits the foul. Ooh, good guess. Isaac, layup drill. Didn't have many opportunities like that against Clayton Valley last night. Kahn, Boyd, Kular, top of the key, nice look, buries it. Diekman, two-man game with Dealey, doesn't go. The sophomore Kular with the rebound. Five, 
for three. Doesn't get the roll. And Moxley will rebound. Drive and kick, then basically it will attack and lays it up. Kiko Castillo at seven last night, keeping the crowd energetic, checks in as long with Brian Brown. Connell inbound. Elliot Connolly, who had eight points on Thursday and eight points on Friday, checks in for Coach Bottin. 26 years total at San Ramon Valley, graduated from San Ramon Valley. Kular with the field goal. Downtown, Moxley missed, rebounded by Kahn. Basic deal, just cut off the three-point shooter. Was a long rebound. Kahn, I like the inside-out action. The three off mark. Up court. Conley travels. No call. Oh, call for the foul. So in Coach Bottin's first season, they won the CIF Division I championship. The school is looking for their first NCS title since 2005, and they have scheduled up. They've already played seven games. Today's game number eight. In his 10th season as a head coach, replaced his coach, John Rayner, in the spring of 2014. Conley has been held in double figures in both games in the tournament. He's averaging 14 and a half. Castillo misses. Kahn can't get the offensive rebound. Tipped up the floor. Miss. Rebounded by Thomas Conley. His layup doesn't go. Gets a rebound on the floor, which is inexcusable. But it's, then he turns it over. And then Boyd, he travel, dribbles, dribbles, dribbles into traffic and nearly turns it over. Aaron Kular checks back in. So does Morello. And then seeing his first action is Matthew Miskin for the Bulldogs. Inbound along the baseline. We'll have Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament director Chris McIntyre. Nice interview with him in the third quarter. Player control foul. Is, is that a legal screen? I'm not sure. Nevertheless, it's a turnover for. Maybe it was a screen in the key. We'll move on. Conley averaging just over eight points a game coming into the tournament. I'd like to see Aaron Kular get a little closer to the basket. Misses, rebounded, Elliot Conley. Conley to Conley. Timeout. You're watching the 2023 GIBT on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets, clearing countertop cord and device clutter for more organized spaces. Your docking drawer outlet comes with everything needed for installation, including our photo buying card, a detailed installation manual, including drawer cutout templates, a metal cover plate in the finish of your choice, all seven screws needed for mounting, and your docking drawer outlet, complete with cable management arms that guide and protect the power cord as the drawer opens and closes. Docking drawer outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added to new or existing drawers of any type. Add in drawer outlets to bathroom vanity drawers, create convenient powered appliance pullouts in the kitchen, 
and dedicated charging drawers in the living room, office, closets, mudrooms, and beyond. Choose Docking Drawer, the smart, simple, and safe solution for in-drawer power. County Quarry Products, concrete and asphalt recycling services with hot mix asphalt and specialty rock products serving Contra Costa County. And I know American Asphalt pulled some half-inch AC for our job in Martinez. 16-7, Wolves pass up court to Brown, and then he has the ball stolen by McDonough, who just checked in. If you're San Ramon, want to play a lot of guys, have a clean game, and get home and regroup. And I appreciate the way Coach Bottin has his schedule and the amount of games they're playing versus top opponents. Pick and roll, nearly turned over. Castillo saves it, helps out Morello. Ten on the shot clock. Running one-hander doesn't go wide left. Danny Drucker with the rebound. And then the Wolves go a little careless whisper and turn it over. Got to value the possession of the basketball. That's probably one of the single greatest good habits a team can have, and especially a team like Branson. They value the basketball. Kular front rim. Who wants the ball? McDonald does up to Dealey. It wanted the ball reverse right there. Went down to the wing, top of the key. Coach Bottin was looking for a reversal. Little high post through Dealey. Love the high post offense. And then a foul. Morello gets a little handsy. Ball out of bounds. McDonald will inbound. Foots on the arc, only two. Good call by the officials. Bad pass. If he ball fakes that and Brown cuts the basket, there's an opportunity there. You just can't get careless with the basketball. And you just get in its habitual. It's like my bad eating habits. Except when I come up here from downtown, wide left, and that'll do it. San Ramon leads Gridley 18 to 7. You're watching the 2023 GIBT on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products. you need an aggressive and persuasive criminal defense attorney in Contra Costa, Solano, or Napa County, contact Vincent R. Maher, attorney at law. You can benefit from the dedicated advocacy of an attorney who's one of the rare criminal trial lawyers in the state to be a specialist certified by the California State Bar. Contact him at 707-427-2800. Vincent R. Maher at the Maher Law Group a professional corporation. We want to thank everybody here with the committee, the folks that have been helping us in the hospitality room, everybody involved with the 69th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament. We're counting the days till next year. Thank you from NorCal Sports TV and all of our partners. Time for the second chapter of this game. Kular with the rebound. I like to see the big fella get down low and try to work a little offense close to the paint. Spends a lot of time along the arc. Tallest player in the gym. 18 to 7. Eight.
hits the eight footer. Dealey took the Danville Boulevard spot to San Ramon with the layup. Turnaround. Nice move by Boyd. Diekman double dribbles, no call. Moxley. Dealey again, missed another layup. Missing a lot of gimmies. And I think it's a little, just a little tired. Back to back games, Tuesday game. He's got to finish those. Speaking of finishing, Deekman from downtown. He's averaging, was averaging 10.5 coming in to the GIBT. The sophomore Kular miss, rebounded. Doing a good job on the boards is Moxley. Then the Wolves nearly turn it over. Up court to Thomas. Corner three for Diekman. He likes that spot. And we got a timeout. We'll keep it here. County Quarry Producers will go through these. Oh, don't, don't let me cut off the read. Go ahead and play it, big fella. We're good. Deekman likes that spot. County Quarry Products, concrete and asphalt recycling services with hot mix asphalt and specialty rock products serving Contra Costa County. All of our partners, we appreciate their partnership. And the best thing to do is send them a little email, a little thank you. We appreciate you supporting the community in which you do business. American Asphalt, the Maher Law Group, Docking Drawer, Salesian College Preparatory, County Quarry Products, and of course, my employer, American Asphalt. Oh, a ball fake. Jump stop. Giddy up. Do more, please. Three fundamentals and one dribble, and I like it. 26 13. Moxley has his path counted off, and then Morello reaches again. Jump stop, square, finish. Needs to do more of that. Don't be allergic to getting close to the basket. We fall in love with the three-point shot. Dealey nails that one. Summer League three for the four-year varsity letterman. Let to look at the schedule. Maybe we will get together and do the San Ramon Monta Vista game this year. Finger roll off the glass. Deely wanted the turnover there. Toughest inbound in the history of basketball. Boy, when you have that, you know, you can feel the little heater that's coming through. Check the weather. Here comes Deely. Nails that one. Get ready to check in is Elliot Conley. And then Thomas gets lazy and grabs somebody. When I get lazy, I usually just take a nap. I digress. 33-13, baseline, inbound. Consolation game will be Clayton Valley against Sheldon. 
And as far as ever history between these two schools, I can't find any recent history where they ever played. Gridley San Ramon. Morello misses. Dealey has the ball knocked out of his hands, but the ball will go to the Wolves. Isaac. Morello. Drive, Kular, or Khan rather, Dealey with the steal. He's hacked. Castillo back into the game. Connolly with the basketball, high post through Dealey. Little triangle offense there. Isaac resets and nails the three. So after this game, on December 12th, San Ramon will play Antioch. Then American Canyon, I believe, and then Freedom. Nice offense. Kular to Khan. Rinse and repeat. Travel. Been a handful of possessions where Gridley works a little offense, not careless with the basketball, and they've been successful. Those are good things to see. Obviously, playing above their division in competition. And if you didn't know this. They have never won their own tournament. Quick historical fact. This is probably redundant for some of you, but that's life. Is this used to be a postseason, a preseason tournament? Go for the one-handed flush. Mr. Conley flying through the air. Love the aggressiveness of the 6-3 junior. Beautiful. Used to be a postseason tournament, kind of like the Tournament of Champions, then eventually became a oh, beautiful Mr. Brown. Only way I do that if there's a hopes of a corn dog or a soft serve ice cream. I know. Man of minimal needs. Brown gets the rebound. Off mark. Figure roll. Nice move by Conley. Oh, San Ramon kid playing at the rim. Off mark. Long rebound to Jones. Forty-three, fifteen. Trying to get a little physical and get the steal as Thomas Conley. And he's called for the foul. Consolation game once again will be Sheldon against Clayton Valley Charter. You feel a lot better about your team getting two wins here than one win and two losses. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Back cut by Kular. No bounce pass, chest pass, turns it over. 
And James Conley getting in the air, making the layup. Morello doing a little dribble and exhibition and then throws it to nobody. If nobody had a jersey on, he'd probably be wide open. Think about that. Minute left here. Conley, southpaw, gets the hometown roll. Nowhere near Danville. San Ramon so far here in the second quarter. Castillo make a move. He does. Gets it to Stogsdale, and he'll be shooting a couple of free throws. Misses the first. Splits the free throws. Jones, high off the glass. Kular back rim. Jones with the rebound. Conley. Jones. Forty nine sixteen. San Ramon, you're watching the twenty twenty three GIBT on NorCal Sports TV. Presented by County Quarry Products. I am Solution. When I first got to Salesian, I was very nervous because it's a new community and a new experience for me, but everyone was very welcoming and nice to me and really helped me in my transition into the school. I think it was a difficult transition because of leaving my friends in Hawaii, but the community here and the togetherness that Salesian showed me really helped me to transition better. My family is very big and we support each other in everything that we do. So when I look to the sidelines during the games, I know that they're going to be there for me. My family here at Salesian is not only my basketball teammates, but also the students that I am with, and they support me no matter what. Culturally, I think a lot of people here know that I'm the kid from Hawaii, so they ask me a lot of questions about how it is in Hawaii or what my ethnicities are, so I get to teach people who don't know much about it. Also, being in Triple AK, I get to learn more about my African-American background. What makes me Salesian is I think that is just the home and the environment, the community here. Knowing that I have a safe space to communicate with people just really helps me feel more comfortable and makes me feel like more of a home environment. The teachers here at Salesian not only teach you in classrooms, but they take the time out of the day to teach you after hours to make sure that you understand the topics that they learn. They don't just give you regular assignments that a lot of people or dislike, they give you interesting things to expand your horizon and help you learn more. My name is Aaron Clater and I am Salesian. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets, clearing countertop cord and device clutter for more organized spaces. Your docking door outlet comes with everything needed for installation, including our photo buying card, a detailed installation manual, including drawer cutout templates, a metal cover plate in the finish of your choice, all seven screws needed for mounting, and your docking door outlet, complete with cable management arms that guide and protect the power cord as the door opens and closes. Docking door outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added to new or existing drawers of any type. 
add indoor outlets to bathroom vanity drawers, create convenient powered appliance pullouts in the kitchen, and dedicated charging drawers in the living room, office, closets, mudrooms, and beyond. Choose Docking Drawer, the smart, simple, and safe solution for in-drawer power. The 69th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products, is brought to you by American Asphalt, the Maher Law Group, Docking Drawer, Salesian College Preparatory, and County Quarry Products. Do you need an aggressive and persuasive criminal defense attorney in Contra Costa, Solano, or Napa County? Contact Vincent R. Maher, attorney at law. You can benefit from the dedicated advocacy of an attorney who's one of the rare criminal trial lawyers in the state to be a specialist certified by the California State Bar. Contact him at 707-427-2800. Vincent R. Maher at the Maher Law Group a professional corporation. The 69th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products, is brought to you by American Asphalt, the Maher Law Group, Docking Drawer, Salesian College Preparatory, and County Quarry Products. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets, clearing countertop cord and device clutter for more organized spaces. Your docking drawer outlet comes with everything needed for installation, including our photo buying card, a detailed installation manual, including drawer cutout templates, a metal cover plate in the finish of your choice, all seven screws needed for mounting, and your docking drawer outlet complete with cable management arms that guide and protect the power cord as the door opens and closes. Docking drawer outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added to new or existing drawers of any type. Add in drawer outlets to bathroom vanity drawers, create convenient powered appliance pullouts in the kitchen, and dedicated charging drawers in the living room, office, closets, mudrooms, and beyond. Choose Docking Drawer, the smart, simple, and safe solution for in-drawer power.
Salesian is special from the spirit that everyone brings. When we have our rallies and like assemblies, I feel so safe and just like loved by everyone there. It's just a good community. My experience here as a triathlete from playing football, basketball, and baseball has been uh, wonderful. Uh, I love it. I was pretty nervous, but I felt welcomed very quickly by my coaches and my fellow teammates because some of them knew me, and but most didn't. It's nice to know everyone now and uh, feel welcomed and uh, loved here at Salesian. Being a triathlete and doing so much is like, it, it's kind of hard sometimes, but at least I know that I can always go to a coach or a teammate to talk to whenever I feel down. I'm very grateful for them. I really love the football field in the weight room. Um, it's just a place where I feel uh, at home playing football and just um, running and just laughing with my friends and getting competitive is just something that I always loved and I love the high energy. That's just, that's just who I am. Salesian changed me. It made me uh, love myself more for sure by just having someone to talk to and just having more friends and people to go to. It helped me trust more and be able to be open about certain things. I'm really grateful for everyone and just the opportunity of coming to Salesian. My name is Joseph Taran and I am Salesian. Do you need an aggressive and persuasive criminal defense attorney in Contra Costa, Solano, or Napa County? Contact Vincent R. Maher, attorney at law. You can benefit from the dedicated advocacy of an attorney who's one of the rare criminal trial lawyers in the state to be a specialist certified by the California State Bar. Contact 16, 16. San Ramon Valley. They led 18 to 7 at the end of one, and then it was a 31 9 second quarter versus Gridley for Sam Ramon, and then just a, another careless pass. There were no pressure defense that time. I'm Chris Babcock. Thanks for joining us here on NorCal Sports TV. Consolation game is next between Clayton Valley Charter and Sheldon. Isaac misses the layup. Bikram Kular with the rebound. I like to see 23 down in the low block. Boyd, miss, rebounded, Diekman. Aw. It didn't go your way, big fella. You'll be fine. Khan misses the putback. Misses the second one, third one, fourth one. No, here comes Moxley. Diekman. And we were talking about the Sam Ramon. You know, they were invited in 1968 and didn't return until 2023. Today there are discussions going on of who gets invited back next year. We don't quite know if there's a secret handshake or a baton or what will have you. I guarantee you there will be two schools for sure that will be invited back and they're playing in the championship game. And more than likely the teams that are playing in the third place game as well. Horrible cross-court pass. And Morello with the steal. Watch out for the platform. And we'll get Chris McIntyre over here. 
I know I've made it here in Gridley. I got invited to the Moose Lodge last night. I did. I couldn't go, but I have the pass to go and have one libation tonight if that opportunity seizes itself. But hopefully you get a second offer. I digress. I know where the Moose Lodge is. That's the first, when I come to a small town, I grew up in Willits, California. You find out where the Moose Lodge is or the Elks Lodge. Those are the best people. Ball inbound for the Wolves. Isaac. Dealey. Another turnover. And Boyd gets blocked by the rim. Dealey lurking around the high post. And the left-hand layup is good by Thomas. See, I... Maybe I move up. Twenty on the shot clock. Boyd can't get the hometown roll. Dealey running the court. Isaac with the layup. You're watching the 2023 GIBT on NorCal Sports. Nope, we weren't going to keep it here. It was just a timeout for substitution mass confusion if I go a little cars there. And the only one that was confused, breaking news, was me. I know one thing, I was the first in line at the soft serve machine and I closed the first half. I beat everybody there. Boyd, step back, miss, rebounded by Connolly, up court to Drucker. He misses the layup and the sophomore Kular with the rebound. That's a partial steal. Aaron Kular will inbound. Stay down there. No, 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 no. Stay in the low block. I would say Conley had a pretty spectacular dunk and an and one. See, that's why I'm saying get get down low, Aaron Kular, doing a little Swin Nader imitation down in the low block. Nobody listening knows who Swin Nader is, and that's okay. Google it. Learn something about the jump hook, not the sky hook. That's Kareem, and I've got his T-shirt in the truck. And he gets the old-fashioned three-point play. Jones aims, fires, misses. Aaron Kular with the rebound. Misses, rebounded by Drucker, or actually Thomas Conley. Basket cut, layup drill. Sean McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I know, I'm messing with rhymes.
turnaround. Nine footer. Thomas Conley. There's not a there's not a there's not a limit on how many times you can go inside and get close to the basket. Just go. Don't stop. I gotta be nice. Jones off mark. Boyd. We got a timeout. Time to play the mentions. You're watching the 2023 GIBT on NorCal Sports TV. The 69th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports. 69th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products, is brought to you by American Asphalt, the Maher Law Group, Docking Drawer. Salesian College Preparatory and County Quarry Product. County Quarry, County Quarry Products, concrete and asphalt recycling services with hot mix asphalt and specialty rock products serving Contra Costa County. I'm sure by now our guys have laid their half inch material in Martinez. My lead statistic analysis man, Chris Gray's in the house. Get ready for that consolation game coming up right after this here on NorCal Sports TV. We need more Kiko Castillo shot attempts. Pretty please. Turnover. Oh, the, his teammates are going to rattle him about that one. McDonald tried to go with the flush and didn't make it. Back in the day, that would show up on the swag board. Brown turns and face. Go at it, Kiko. Steal. And a rip. Thomas Conley. Steal. Conley misses. Rebounded. Morello. Steal. San Ramon's one for three on dunks today. Other than that, it's been all Wolves. Sixty-six twenty-one. We'll come back with the final chapter. You're watching the 2023 GIBT on NorCal Sports TV, presented by County Quarry Products. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets, clearing countertop cord and device clutter for more organized spaces. Your docking door outlet comes with everything needed for installation, including our photo buying card, a detailed installation manual, including drawer cutout templates, a metal cover plate in the finish of your choice, all seven screws needed for mounting, and your docking door outlet, complete with cable management arms that guide and protect the power cord as the door opens and closes. Docking door outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added No, easy, deep breath. Add power and purpose to any drawer with docking drawer outlets. 
Stocking drawer outlets are simple to install using only basic tools and can be added to new or existing drawers of any type. Add in drawer outlets to bathroom vanity drawers, create convenient powered appliance pullouts in the kitchen, and dedicated charging drawers in the living room. Start of the fourth quarter. And we'll get this game going here in the fourth quarter, and then we'll talk with Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament Director Chris McIntyre. Get his headset straightened out. Chris, first of all, thank you from the my crews, the bottom of their hearts for all the support, the love, the food, the just the, the overall comfortability of, of being here at this tournament. Thank you very much. Well, you're very welcome. We appreciate you guys being here. So, when do we start planning for next year? Um. Probably in about uh, two hours from now. I, I knew that was the answer. I wasn't trying to be the lawyer to ask a question that somebody – and is that going to be taking place at the Moose Lodge by any no, chance? No, 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 we'll no. We'll take care of that business here in the gym. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So how many people put this thing together? I mean, I know you have your committee, but then it's all the support staff. Of the You've got the whole community. Wednesday night there's a parade. Right. Correct. They have the coronation here on Friday that we're going to cover next year, by the way. Oh, that's, great. That's my mistake. No, no, no. Because that's problem. important to this community. It is. And what's important to this community is important to, to NorCal Sports TV. But how long have you been involved with this tournament since? We, I, I really you have never asked you, and I'd like to know. Well, I was uh, hired in 1985, and I was the JV basketball coach at that time for Gridley High School. Yep. And then I did, after about uh Four years, I took over the varsity program. So I had a little to do with it, but not as much definitely as I do now. Probably the last uh, 28 years. Is there, a, is there a heart, and I'm sure there's many, but is there a heartwarming story that comes about? And, and what I'm specifically talking about is where the players stay and the families and those relationships. If there's one particular that stands out to you that, that you could share with us, because basically to share with everybody at home or wherever you're watching the game, the players don't stay in motels, hotels, or an Airbnb. They stay with the families here in Gridley. Yes, the majority of teams do stay with families. Um, and, of course, I know most of the families that they stay with being right. in such a small community. And um, they all have great stories about taking kids out and feeding their horses mm. or, you know, milking cows. And they're like... Oh, milk does come from cows, right? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, lots of wonderful stories. And the great thing is a lot of the families stay in contact with these kids. Like, for example, uh, we housed uh, Salesian many years ago, and now the principal at Salesian was a kid that stayed with us during the tournament. So exciting. So, I mean, yeah, there's wonderful stories like that. Yeah, we... We, you know, we always looked at this tournament, but then we'd be involved with other things or the state football. And then when we were able to come aboard in the in the three years, we don't have to ask for any. Normally, hey, can I get the officials? We got an envelope handed. Daryl Holland said, here's your all of my guys. We have, um, we get the enunciations of all the kids' names. We love the speech that the kids get when they check in. You're not here I only heard a couple of things. You're not here for a prom date. You're here to play basketball, correct? correct. Yeah. But um, we really appreciate it. What are what are some of the things you guys are looking for 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 teams for next year? What you're always looking for youth. What are what are some of the eye catchy things? Yeah. So we start, uh, of course, the teams that are here. We're going to look at the, how many seniors they have. Right. If, they've, if they're loaded with seniors, like. Poor Dublin and Campolindo. Well, right. They, they need to sit out a year. And right. Th they've been here long enough that they understand that. Right. Uh, you could even win the tournament and not be invited back. So, yes, we do look for youth. Um, I'll probably make be making a couple of invitations today to current teams here now is that, that are young. Now, if we kept the camera on you, is yes. there a secret handshake, a head bob, <laughs> a blink, a baton? How, what transpires there? Because we... 
There's yeah. people that want to know. Sure, sure. Well, typically I, uh, um, I'll reach out to the coach or one of the assistant coaches and, and I'll ask them, uh, hey, before you leave, let's touch base and let's talk about next year. And then, uh, yeah, we do the little wink and handshake. Oh, that's and then, beautiful. Uh, and then uh, we, start, we start setting it up. Well, we will be back next year. We appreciate our partnership. We stay in touch throughout the year. I'll make a visit here a couple of times on my way up to Butte to do a broadcast. And I always say hi to Farmers Hall. I literally will stop. I'll hug the fence. I'd like to break <laughs> in and take the ice cream machine, but I... I know I probably wouldn't make it more than a half mile out of town, but from the bottom of our heart, including our crew, Chris, thanks a hey, lot. We really appreciate it. You're so it. welcome, and, hey, we appreciate everything you do. Um, it definitely validates uh, what we consider to be an outstanding tournament. And, you know, it's a, it's a large commitment for the teams to commute up here. I mean, we're, Most certainly. You know, and, and uh, we have such a great history down in the Bay Area, and, we're you know, we're – we're hoping that maybe one of these years we can uh, maybe swing a couple of L.A. teams to come up. If you need any help, let uh, let us know. But Chris McIntyre, thank you once again. We'll see you later, Chris. You're very welcome. Take, Take care. care. Well, I know we missed some action, but you know what? There's not a gentleman that I respect more in the basketball community than Chris McIntyre and getting a chance to speak with him is well worth the time and to hear the uh, the stories and the tradition and everything that is remains to be good not transfers not NILs the purity of high school basketball specifically here in this Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament 77-24, San Ramon Valley got about 76 seconds left. San Ramon led 18-7, 49-16 at the end of the half, at, the, at halftime, and led 66-21 here at the end of the third quarter, and we've got a running clock, and, and we ask, thing to help us out, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I can't come home tonight. I'm going to have to stay in Yuba City. If we don't get up to 16,500 subscribers, we're right there. And I need to sleep tonight because I've got just stats for the 49ers tomorrow, and I've got to be at my best. I don't need to talk. I don't talk those days. I keep my mouth shut. We've got 12 games. I've had plenty of rattling going on, but... Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash NorCal Sports TV. Blocked by Peterson Tyler, and then he turns it over to half court. Also into the game is Samuel Avalos, Mason Laundry, and Tyler Smith. And Calcott misses the three, and it's a final 77 77- 25 as the Wolves don't make it a four game losing streak they get the win and they'll take on Antioch next week we'll close things out here from Gridley's Farmer Hall where you've been watching the 69th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV presented by County Quarry Products Thanks to our crew, Xavier Quintana, Mason Francis, statistician Chris Gray, my director, Joseph Inez. I'm Chris Babcock. Good night, and thanks for being on the show.